Hey, this is Grover with Old Ones with Dice. Just wanted to share an experience I recently had. For the last year or so, I've been printing my miniatures using the ABS-like resin from Elegoo. Had really good results with it and pretty happy. A few months ago, they stopped selling it and they switched over to this one, the 2.0 version. Finally got a bottle of this and I found some interesting results. First thing was my exposure times are twice what I was shooting before. Previously, I was exposing at about 2.6 seconds on my Elegoo Saturn. Now I have to switch all the way up to five seconds per layer. Uh, it sounds like a lot, but it only adds about 15, 20% to my total print times. Now, hopefully it's consistent I'm uh, keeping track of what the lot number is on this bottle, but uh, and I have another bottle that's actually ready to go. And we'll see if I get the same results with the next batch. But one thing I will say is the, res the prints that I'm getting at five second layer timing are way superior to what I was getting with the original ABS. The material comes out feeling a lot more like plastic. It seems to be softer and the the detail in my prints are dramatically better. Um, I posted a short recently of some Turnip 28 models that I printed and primed, and you can just see the amazing detail in those small 28 millimeter prints. There's actually, the models are actually carrying muskets and you certainly can't see it in the video, but the triggers are there. The frizzins are there on those models they printed up. Now this is only the original Saturn so this isn't the version two, this isn't the Saturn S, this is the original 4K version. And I'm extremely impressed. So if anyone else has had to make that switch from the original ABS-like to the 2.0 version and are having similar results, let me know. I've looked online and I don't see anyone else reporting this. In, in fact, the suggested exposure times are 2.6 for the Saturn, as opposed to the original version being 2.5. So I don't know if I got a strange batch, which I'm hoping not, because I really like uh, the models that I'm getting. Anyway, stay tuned for further information about 3D printing models, about skirmish games, or anything else I care to babble about. Thanks.